This morning's headlines. Overnight, firefighters battled in vain to save a Gloucester factory from total destruction. And when you look at the factory now... There isn't one. There's nothing left. We were always aware that we were dealing with materials which are designed to burn. That's what a candle is. I, I had no idea that it could do this much damage in such a short time. But I knew always that we were dealing with a potential for danger, but the scale of it has just devastated. It's absolutely devastating. What happened at Lanecraft could happen anywhere. You can't unstart a fire. The best thing to do is to stop it starting in the first place. And fire risk assessment has a significant role to play. Not as a one-off exercise, but every day, as part of everyone's daily routine. Here's the sequence for fire risk assessment. Identify fire hazards and people at risk. If you can, remove hazards completely, or relocate the people at risk to somewhere safer. Reduce other hazards where possible, by, for instance, using different equipment or materials, relocating activities, repairing faults or structural defects, by adopting safer practices to protect people and premises. There will still be some issues you can neither remove nor reduce, so you must manage the remaining hazards. You must record the findings, and a plan of how to deal with an emergency should be prepared. Review your assessment regularly. Let's make a start. We are going to go forward, we're going to do it again, but I'm never going to see this again. This is a fire resistant wall and it separates the manufacturing process from the rest of the building. And where cabling and piping passes through the fire resistant wall, the gaps around the edges of the hole need to be filled with fire resistant stopping to prevent the fire passing through. Down there are some hazards we can't remove. We work with flammable materials like you do at the candle factory. And our machinery, well, it's the source of ignition. So we have to do what we can to reduce the hazards. Where you can't remove or replace a risk, you should try to reduce it. At our place, we can't help heating wax and fragrance together, um, but we reduce the risk by never leaving the process unattended. Yeah, wax and heat aren't a very good mixture. Essentially, you have to keep these sources of ignition um, under constant scrutiny and separated from combustible materials as far as possible. <laughs>